In this exercise, we'll be integrating our gradebook application with portal search. Our objectives for this exercise are going to be to declare our dependencies, implement a gradebook registrar class to register with the search framework, implement an assignment model document contributor to control which fields are indexed, implement an assignment model indexer writer contributor to configure re-indexing. We'll implement a gradebook keyword query contributor to control which fields are being queried We'll implement a gradebook model summary contributor to control the gradebook summaries returned. We'll review the service implementation classes for our indexable annotations, re-index the search index, and test the application. And we'll do this by declaring dependencies, implementing a gradebook registrar class, implementing our assignment model document contributor, implementing an assignment model indexer writer contributor, implementing a gradebook keyword query contributor, implementing a gradebook model summary contributor, reviewing the service implementation classes for at indexable annotations, re-indexing our search index, and testing the application. Here we are back in LifeRay Developer Studio. We'll go ahead and navigate over to our gradebook service module and open up our build.gradle file. We'll be adding two new dependencies, uh, which you can find in your exercise instructions. Make sure we save our file. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and create a new package in our gradebook service module. Which we're going to call com.liferay.training.gradebook. dot internal dot search and in our new package what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class which we will call assignment search registrar And we'll go ahead and implement that according to our code snippet in our exercise instructions. we save that file. Next we'll create yet another package in our gradebook service module. Uh, this will have a similar name to our last one and we'll call it com.liferay.training.gradebook dot internal dot search dot SPI dot model dot contributor
and we'll go ahead and click finish. And within that package, we'll create a new class, which we will simply call assignment model document contributor. finish and we'll implement that according to our code snippet in our exercise instructions Make sure we save that. Uh, next, we'll create the model indexer writer contributor, which will configure the re indexing and batch re indexing behavior for the model entity. Uh, this class's method is called when a re index is triggered from the search administrative application found in our control panel under configuration and search. So, in that same package, we're going to create a, another class, which we will call assignment model indexer writer contributor. finish and we'll implement according to our code snippet Make sure we save our file. Uh, next up, we'll be creating our keyword query contributor class, which will contribute model specific clauses to the ongoing search query. Uh, so we'll start by creating a new package. Which is going to have a similar name to our last one. com dot life ray dot training dot grade book dot internal dot search dot SPI dot model dot query dot contributor go ahead and create that and within that package we're going to create a new class which we will call our assignment keyword query contributor And we'll go ahead and implement that class according to our code snippet from our exercise instructions. Save that. Uh, next up will be our model summary contributor, which will construct the results summary, including specifying which fields to use. 
So we'll create yet another package. For this to live in. Which we'll call com dot life ray dot training dot gradebook dot internal dot search dot spi dot model dot result dot contributor. And within that package, we'll create a new class, which we will simply call assignment model summary contributor. And we'll implement that according to our code snippet. And we'll save that. Uh, now, as you might expect, uh, we'll go ahead and rebuild the service. So we'll go over to our Gradle tasks, into our gradebook module, and run build service. All right, our final step will be to review when and how indexing is triggered. Uh, now, indexing is triggered by the local service methods annotated with the at indexable annotation, which we can find in our assignment local service base impl. If we look in there, we can see that our methods for adding, deleting, and updating assignments are all annotated with our at indexable tag. Now, as long as our customizations and overloads of these methods in the assignment local service impl call the base class, we don't have to add annotations to trigger indexing. Uh, if we wanted our custom assignment local service impl method to trigger indexing, we would just annotate it with our at indexable and remember that an indexable method has to return the updated entity. So. If you have created test assignments, we're going to have to re-index the search index to get the assignments to appear on the results list. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Here we are back in the UI, and we'll go ahead and re-index our search index. We'll do that by navigating over to our global menu and into our control panel and we'll click search under configuration. We'll go over here to index actions and we'll re-index all search indexes. Wait for that to complete. And now we'll navigate back to our home page. Now that we've re-indexed our search index, our assignments are now searchable on our platform.